Hello everyone, joining me today, my very special guest. You may best know him for his tenure in the UFC. He fought twice for the UFC lightweight title against Frankie Edgar. Please give a warm welcome for the bully himself, Gray Maynard. Yeah, appreciate you having me on. Anytime, Gray. Glad you could be here. Anyway, please, tell me a little about yourself, how you got into the fight business. I grew up wrestling, started wrestling when I was about three years old. Around the eighth grade is really when I chose to take wrestling seriously and put everything I have to it. Going to camps, going to tournaments all over the country. Took state in Nevada my 10th grade year, and then I went out to an all-boys school in Ohio. We were number one in the nation. Went out there, then I went to Michigan State. I was a top recruit in 1998 after state, tried out for the Olympics in 04, and then chose to get into MMA. Went all the way through, did about 13 years with the UFC. Yeah, man, for sure. Back in the UFC, you were very tenacious with your wrestling. That's, that's how I started out. You know, it's probably the best sport to be a part of, you know, if you're choosing to get into MMA. Um, just because it gives you that kind of in between to learn boxing and kickboxing or to learn jujitsu. And you can kind of choose whether you want to be a grappler or a striker because you dictate where, like where it's going to go. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, I'd love to hear some cool stories about your time on the ultimate fighter and overall your time in the UFC ultimate fighter we were just going nuts you know there's no tv can't read books we were just going crazy and we actually had that one fight in the backyard that was probably the most entertaining part of that tv show in my actual fights with the ufc just going up against nate diaz you know how he talked and the drama that goes along with that edgar he was always great to go up against because you know he was going to be ready he was going to be in shape you know other than that it was just it was a good career yeah man totally the ufc was just very beneficial especially during my adolescent years it really helped me get through a lot of rough times especially all the bullying I endured being on the autism spectrum. Your fight, especially with Frankie Edgar for the title, those fights really got me off my seat for sure. Good times. You know, I'm glad it helped you and just keep strong and keep training and keep your mind clear. Thank you very much, man. Means a lot. Anyway, I'd love to hear about some of your current endeavors. We moved out to Michigan, live right down the road from their cousins. They're a lot more active, a lot more outdoors. That's a big deal to us. We'll probably start up a gym. MMA has just been very beneficial in my life, and I love that it could help people change for the better. Me, especially being on the autism spectrum, I want to continue to reach others on the spectrum, and I'm living proof that MMA can help people with special needs. Anyway. Do you have any experience working with people that have autism or any other related special needs? Yeah, we have a lot of kids who come in the gym that need help with focusing, energy, and these are great sports to help train your mind and body. That's another reason why I make these testimonials, because I want to help shatter stereotypes on autism and show the world that people like me are capable of doing what they set out to do. I love that you're doing that. Thank you, Gray Maynard, for taking your time to meet with me. Yes, sir. Take it easy.